How often do you feel frustrated when you have lots of readings and assignments to do for your classes? If you do not do them, you could fail the course, but not knowing where to start is perplexing, and you feel lost, unmotivated, frustrated. In this video, we will share with you a few easy steps to seize this frustration and increase your learning productivity. Let's roll in. Read with purpose. Aimless reading, driven mostly by the desire to get done with it, is ineffective as nothing sticks in your mind as soon as you reach the end of the text. Instead, check what specific task or questions you might have been given. Intentional learning will make you pick from the text information relevant to the questions you need to answer. If you're not given a specific task, give yourself a purpose. For example, what parts of the text can you relate to something you already know? Underline the ideas which are new to you. In the end, reflect on what you learned from the reading. We are what we eat. This step is probably one of the most underrated and neglected ways of actually improving your academic performance. Our eating habits significantly affect our body and brain's proper functioning, Eating unhealthy and consuming alcohol impacts your brain most negatively, causing lowered brain capacity. In other words, your brain may start having functioning problems like forgetting new information and just trouble understanding new topics. Wondering what kind of diet has the most positive effect on academic performance? Your choice should be a Mediterranean diet, with plenty of green leaves, veggies, olive oil, and nuts, which provide necessary nutrients for your brain and the whole body. But also, Quit drinking. Get enough sleep. Getting enough sleep is an essential part of a healthy lifestyle, especially for the student. Maintaining proper sleep patterns is important for various types of brain activities such as concentration, performance, and productivity. Sleeping well, you won't have problems with the study and memory skills which will allow you to grasp and remember new concepts easier and sufficiently. For example, let's imagine a student who spent the whole night studying before the midterm. Due to lack of sleep, he or she will feel fuzzy and experience a big challenge answering questions during the actual exam. Therefore, to avoid health problems or learning difficulties, get enough sleep and observe your sleeping patterns. Distributive Practice What the heck is distributive practice? It is a technique that involves returning to your study material multiple times after a certain time interval. Adopting this technique and combining it with other methods like practice testing allows you to reach maximum efficiency in your learning and memorization of information. For example, when studying for a midterm, make sure to do practice testing several times with time intervals. This helps to store information for a longer period in your head. Avoid the pitfall of stopping the practice too soon. Self-explanation The name is pretty self-explanatory. However, we need to admit that it is an effective method to identify your level of expertise, or simply saying, understanding of a particular concept. In comparison to just simple memorization of facts, self-explanation is very effective at helping you understand concepts better. In the very same manner, you can provide explanations for your groupmates as well, which practically gives the same effect. A positive one. Study breaks. Do you get very tired while studying? Then you are missing a study break. Many people think that it is useless, but after trying it, they think otherwise. The point is that you dedicate slots of time for studying and for breaks. For example, studying for 40 minutes and resting for 10 minutes. Remember, these periods should not be mixed and no entertainment is allowed while learning. This will help you stay focused while you study and not to overexert yourself. And yes, choose the right periods, don't make them too long. The Pomodoro Technique is a good example of using study breaks effectively. It helps to minimize distractions and focus on the given task. You're practically studying for 25 minutes and just taking a break for 5 to 10 minutes. Follow these easy steps to increase your learning productivity. Stay tuned!